what's going on youtube welcome back to another video so guys today we are checking out all of the equipment weapons and also vehicles that you guys can steal during the setup missions of the clock and bell farm rate this way you guys will know all of the things that you can get where you can get them and of course this will save you a lot of time so first let's take a look at the third setup mission it's called concealed weapons during this mission we have to steal weapons and also equipment and basically we have three options that we can pick from three gangs from which we can steal we have gang a which is kind of a small gang b is more like a organized more larger gang and then c is a private army basically you will also get a text during this mission from vincent which shows you images of all the three gangs and this also kind of tells you the things that i just said so first of all gang a for this one if you want to find the equipment you will have to look in the trunks of the cars so this is kind of different from the other two gangs with the other two gangs it's just marked on the map but for this one you actually have to open up the trunks the equipment that you will get from here is light armor with a low stamina reduction the weapons that you get for location a are first of all molotovs then a compact rifle then also a mini smg and a combat pistol with a suppressor you also get a crowbar which kind of comes in handy also when you have to open up some crates but if you don't have it it's not even an issue the combat pistol is the one with the suppressor so if you're going stealth that will be the one that you have to use location b we have pipe bombs then we also have a heavy shotgun we have a tactical smg with suppressor and we have a heavy rifle so for stealth with this one it's going to be the tactical smg which in my opinion is better than the combat pistol but both are good to be honest the equipment that you get over here is medium armor and also medium uh, stamina reduction location c we have grenades we have an ap pistol we have a mg and then also the combat shotgun with suppressor which i don't really like to be honest when doing the final in stealth so for stealth i would recommend location a or b the equipment for location c is heavy armor with a heavy stamina reduction so like i said for stealth location a or b b the mission takes a little bit longer because you have to go to the yacht so if you want to keep it simple and short a is perfectly fine for stealth if you want to do it aggressive for me to be honest all of them are also good but i guess uh, b is the better option then when you're done with the mission you have to text vincent to let him know which equipment you want to use and which weapons if you stole multiple during the mission you can also select multiple boxes and then during the final you can go in this room or space over here and you can actually switch both your equipment and also your weapons to be honest this is not really necessary but if you want to do this this is also a option in the fourth setup mission hit and run we're gonna steal the getaway vehicle the same system again three gangs that you can steal from again gang a is a small gang gang c is the private military one small detail if you steal from a gang in mission three so if you steal weapons from a gang in the third setup mission if you return to that same gang in the fourth setup mission then the security will be higher so there will be more npcs but to be honest it's actually not that bad for location a two vehicles that i've gotten so far first of all the d-class impaler lx a muscle car and also the moonbeam again a muscle car that you can steal from this location these are kind of slow vehicles that are kind of harder to handle so i don't really recommend them as a getaway vehicle then for location b we get a sports car this is the one that i recommend that you guys get until now i've gotten a coil uh, raiden so basically a tesla and also a dinka sugoi which are both really good cars and they are perfect getaway vehicles by the way when escaping from location b you will always have to make a jump don't try to break the fences because they are unbreakable just move around the cars that are over there and then take a jump to basically escape for location c you will have to take down a cargo bob this will drop the vehicle the vehicle won't be damaged so don't worry about this until now i've gotten the mammoth squatty a suv which is not really a good getaway vehicle it's really slow it's really heavy so i don't recommend location c and also the new vehicle the terminus which is better but still location b is better in my opinion so i would just go for that now with this mission just like with the equipment there is also the option to steal multiple vehicles if you do this you will actually get money for the vehicles that you stole and didn't select at the end but i can tell you guys it's not worth it because you will only get 10k per vehicle that you steal extra 
and this is not really worth the time. So over here, I had one vehicle extra, I get 10k, and then in the next clip, I did the same mission, but I didn't steal any extra vehicles, and I got nothing. So guys, that was basically it. Hope it was helpful. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description, and peace out, you guys.